Ano ba? Kuha na ba? Direct. Chalis. Hi everyone, this is Alfred. Welcome to my channel where we talk about skincare, makeup, and everything in between. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 affordable sunscreen recommendation for oily and acne prone skin. Summer na naman, and usually nakakaranas lang tayo before mag sunscreen kapag magsa-swimming with family or friends. Because we are not that informed to the importance of sunscreen. So bakit nga ba dapat daily tayo nagsa-sunscreen? For number 1, uh, it slows down the aging of our skin. 2. It lessens the risk of having skin cancer. 3. It lessens the worsening of dark spots. So, kaya makakarinig kayo lagi na whether you're using something on your face, whether it be Rejuve, new toner, new serum, o wala lang din yan ng kwenta if hindi ka magsa-sunscreen. In some of the skincare ingredients kasi, nakakapagpa-photosensitize ng skin natin, meaning it becomes more sensitive to the sun. Even the importance of sunscreen, bakit maraming paling people lang ayaw or hindi gumagamit ng sunscreen on a daily basis? First, it can be a bit expensive for them kasi some sunscreen ranges from 500 pesos and above, some even 1,000 plus. For two, the formula isn't great. Some sunscreens are really sticky and really thick and heavy on the skin and if you have really oily skin, hindi siya maganda sa pakiramdam, especially on this hot and humid weather. And lastly, for people like me who have really acne prone skin, mahirap makahanap ng kasundo na sunscreen na hindi ka magwe break out. So I'm gonna give you my top 5 sunscreen recommendation that checks all the box. It is non-sticky, inexpensive, and great for oily and acne prone skin. First sunscreen, if you have a TikTok account and you watch skincare TikToks, I'm sure you have heard of this. This is the Fairy Skin Premium Brightening Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus PA++++. You can get this on Shopee for around 190 pesos. It claims to have passed the Daiso UV Transmittance Analyzer Report, which is a very big thing. So, ano ba yung Daiso UV Transmittance Analyzer na yan? So, it verifies the SPF rating na nakalagay dito sa packaging nila. It verifies that the SPF is true to its claim. Bakit? Because there are some sunscreens that claim to have this amount of SPF, pero it doesn't really perform like that amount of SPF. And with the report given by Daiso, na-exceed pa niya yung rating na, that is indicated on its packaging. This is SPF 50. The results show that it performed as SPF 70. It claims to be non-sticky, non-greasy, no white cast with Centella Asiatica to calm and soothe the skin. It couldn't get any better than this. For only 190 pesos, you're getting a really high quality sunscreen that is great on its own and under makeup. I'm using it right now, and as you can see, she's giving very glassy. Fairy Skin Sunscreen, at first, ang kala mo magkaka white cast siya, kasi white siyang lalabas out of the packaging. Pero once that it has settled down on your skin, nagtotone down yung white cast and nawawala siya completely. This product also contains Centella Asiatica and some other whitening extract, so mayroon pa siyang skincare benefits. Next on my list is the, the Bella Sun Expert Face Cover SPF 40. If you're on a budget, don't ever ever get this. Nabibilihin nyo lang siya ng isa because regular price na is around 375. This is always, and I mean always, nagba buy one take one sa Shopee account nila. Abangan mo lang siya every month pag nag restock. Always buy one take one siya. So papatak around 187.5 na lang siya each. You can get this on Shopee as well as on Watsons and it claims to be non-sticky, non-comedogenic, anti-aging, and paraben free. Sa paraben free part, like guys, huwag na tayo matakot sa parabens kasi sobrang maliit na concentration lang yon. If you want me to do a video about BS skincare ingredients na parang sobrang denemonize ng skincare industry para lang makbentahan tayo, such as yung mga claims na ganyan na paraben free. Guys, parabens are not bad. When it comes to this sunscreen, I feel like it conforms kung ano yung skin mo underneath this. So, whatever skincare product you use underneath this, ganun yung magiging finish niya. At least for my experience. So, if nag-hydrate ka, and nag-toner ka, and nag-moisturizer ka, magiging glowy siya when you apply it on top. But if you put oil controlling products underneath this, I find that it has more of a matte finish. 
So a lot of oily skin people love this and medyo meron siyang onting tone up effect. But all in all, this is a great basic sunscreen. Next would be my favorite sunscreen. This is the Etude House Sun Price Mild UV Airy Finish SPF 50 Plus PA Plus Plus Plus. Make sure to get the Mild Airy Finish variant of this, because I have I have heard some other people who break out from the other variants. Either get this on Shopee for 310 pesos or an actual Etude House store, pero I doubt that it would be that inexpensive. So this is a 100% mineral sunscreen that is great for sensitive skin as well as it has a really 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 great oil control. Nothing has controlled my oil like this. This is a sun milk so the consistency is very runny but I would describe this as liquid powder because it's very liquidy but it glides really well on the skin and yung finish niya is para ka naka powder and may onting tone up effect na super nakaka fresh I had recommended this to some of my friends and they really really this smells really cute very powdery and a bit citrusy second to the last sunscreen recommendation for me would be the hello glow 3-in-1 lightening sun care gel you can get it on Watson's or online I got this on Watson's for 320 pesos medyo on the expensive side na siya for me uh, considering na para nakasashay lang siya and everything. It has aloe vera, bamboo leaf, and wood apple that claims to give you a silky and smooth skin. So the consistency of this, she's very, very, very watery. This is the most watery sunscreen that I had ever used to the point na medyo mahirap na siya gamitin kasi tumutulo siya everywhere. But it is really, really, really lightweight. Like you apply nothing on your skin. This smells like aloe vera. My last recommendation, I don't have it with me because I stopped using it for the longest time. Pero that was my sunscreen back in college. And why? Because it's really, really affordable. So the sunscreen I'm mentioning is the Maxipil sunscreen. You can get the sachet one for around, I think, 30. I will flash the picture here so you can see. And it, it doesn't have the best SPF and PA rating, but kung walang wala ka na talaga, like I was kung nag-aaral pa ako. So, pwede na. That sunscreen is better than no sunscreen at all. If you're gonna use that, be very extra careful. Uh, wear, ca wear a cap, use an umbrella. Ayun, I think that will be it. If may nakalimutan akong sabihin, just comment it down below. If you have any questions about SPF sunscreen, let me know. If you want me to make a separate video explaining to you guys what does SPF means, what does the PA++++ means, uh, is it true that we need to use sunscreen indoors, mga ganyan, mga sunscreen myths, let me know. I will do a detailed research for you guys. I was born to do this. So please do subscribe, like, and leave a comment. It would help me out a lot. Ayan. <laughs>